one of the siblings that uh, was the first inhabitant of uh, this building. I like it. This airplane was uh, made so that it could uh, land on the water with uh, these ledges that you can see underneath it. At first, I was like, this is kind of boring, but then when I got to go on that plane simulator, I was like, I like this. I'm going to do a nosedive. It's pretty That's amazing. That's all I want to do. It was built for the biggest seaplane at that time. Ilya Borovitz, it's uh, width of the lane, well, well, the wings was about uh, 30 meters, so it could make a U-turn here easily. And so our building is 50 meters wide and 105 meters long. I think I found my new calling. This is a typical example of the Estonian uh, ship building. And uh, it was built from three types of wood and uh, also it was a white ship that uh, reminded the ships of the Vikings. I like playing with the boats just over yonder. Yeah. Our summer is pretty short so uh, we sometimes joke that we really do have some, but uh, we usually work during that day. We also do sailing in the winter time when uh, the shallow places in the sea they uh, freeze or the inside uh, water bodies they freeze. So you can uh, also ride the boat. I would sink the ice boat. Ice boating was pretty cool. Yeah, and there's one there that had like DN on it for Detroit News because apparently it won some contest for being an ice boat. I like all the things you get to do, like trying on stuff and going in the submarine. <laughs> there was another dreamer in the 19th century at the same time as Jules Verne, it was Otto Gern, who constructed the first submarine. There's a submarine here and we went in the submarine and it just absolutely freaked me out. I'm not claustrophobic but it was just, you know, really small and it's just weird to think that, you know, people were in the submarine. It was way too crowded and I don't understand how like 30 plus people can be like stuck inside that for more than like 30 minutes. Uh, in this room there were 8 torpedoes and 16 people. So 4 of the torpedoes were loaded all the time in the cannons and 4 of them were stored under and on the floor of this room. And there were like 30 people in it and there were like beds that were like that big and like really long. So <laughs> we uh, used the uh, lower beds. Here on the upper beds, uh, they uh, usually stored the things. Though, if uh, somebody uh, well slept during his guard, so he was put to sleep on the beds, so whether beside the cannons, so where it was considered to be dangerous sleeping, or there where we have a lot of corners. <laughs> It's really small. It's, it's really not. Small. It's not meant for people of my height. No. It's also not meant for anyone that can easily get claustrophobic. I thought that it was really claustrophobic. Like, I don't know if I'd be able to handle it. I could not stay in this for 24 hours. I would probably die. Yeah. I was short enough to fit in it without hitting anything, because everybody else did. <laughs> <laughs> Look where you're from. Oh. What? Uh, Karma. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention.